Sometimes television is pretty predictable. Other times, all bets are off. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times TV was hijacked. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at occasions when deliberate broadcast signal intrusions interrupted normal TV viewing. Number 10. Chinese TV Hacked For the most part, the Chinese government keeps a white-knuckle grip on the reins of the media. But during Friday primetime on August 1, 2014, hackers temporarily wrested away control, hijacking local cable in the city of Wenzhou. Viewers were taken aback to see anti-government, pro-democracy messages overlaying programs on each of the channels for a period of roughly 10 minutes. The pirate content included references to the persecuted spiritual movement Falun Gong and the iconic image of Tank Man, the lone protester who faced down tanks in Tiananmen Square. Number 9. Al Manar TV during the 2006 Lebanon War, the Israeli Air Force diversified their attack strategy by taking aim at Hezbollah's satellite television station Al Manar. The bombing was condemned by some, but defended by Israel, who claimed the channel was being used by Hezbollah to incite violence and was therefore a legitimate target. When the attacks failed to stop Al Manar from transmitting their content, Israel hijacked the channel to broadcast anti Hezbollah propaganda showing dead Hezbollah fighters, and claiming Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrullah was lying about their losses. Number 8. Bible Verses on Playboy TV Time to get spiritual. During Playboy's broadcast of Three Daughters on September 6, 1987, viewers were taken aback to find biblical scripture as part of the show. Just as things heated up, the program was replaced with a quote from Exodus 28 and Matthew 4.17 which urged viewers to, quote, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Viewers probably had something else at hand, and suffice it to say, Playboy wasn't too impressed either. In 1990, Thomas Haney, an uplink engineer at the Christian Broadcasting Network, was convicted of satellite piracy. Number 7. TV Solidarity In the 1980s, the communist regime in Poland was holding on by its fingertips. Economic crisis was inspiring dissent, inflamed by the underground trade union Solidarność, Polish for solidarity. During the 1985 parliamentary elections, the regime banned opposition candidates from running, prompting calls for a boycott. To get the message out, four astronomers at the University of Torun superimposed texts supporting solidarity and the proposed boycott. They were caught, but received a light slap on the wrist in the form of probation and a small fine. Number 6. Super Bowl Porn What do the Arizona Cardinals, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and adult actor Evan Stone's penis have in common? Unlikely as it may seem, they all had screen time during the 2009 Super Bowl. In parts of Arizona, thousands watching Comcast's broadcast on NBC-affiliated channel KVOA had their sports viewing interrupted by a 30-second clip from Wild Cherries 5, in which adult actress Tristan Kingsley performs oral sex on the aforementioned Mr. Stone. In 2011, former cable employee Frank Tenori Gonzalez was arrested and pled guilty to computer tampering. Number 5. Captain Midnight on HBO On April 27, 1986, John McDougall decided he had had enough. His satellite dish business was struggling thanks to HBO's high subscription fees, so he did what anyone would do in that situation. He named himself Captain Midnight and jammed HBO's signal to broadcast a mildly worded complaint. Working part-time as an operations engineer at an uplink station, he had everything he needed for the crime. His message lasted almost five minutes, but it was enough to grab the attention of the media and the authorities, who gave him one-year probation and a $5,000 fine. Number 4. Atomic Explosion on Czech TV's Panorama As home viewers took in this idyllic mountain scene on Czech television's program Panorama, a devastating nuclear explosion suddenly shattered the serenity. The year was 2007, and thankfully, viewers weren't actually seeing the opening shot of World War III. Damage report! Damage report! The prank-pulling guerrilla art collective Stohoven hacked into one of Panorama's live cameras and replaced the live broadcast with a version that featured a CGI explosion and a mushroom cloud. Titled Media Reality, 
The prank's aim was to show how easily the media can manipulate us. We're not compromising the integrity of the show to sell- Wow, this is diet Snapple? I know, it tastes just like regular Snapple, doesn't it? To the casual, unsuspecting observer, it actually looked pretty pants-weddingly real and caused shock and outrage among viewers. Number three, zombie emergency alert. We've all imagined it. The dead are rising. The zombie apocalypse is finally here. Until we need a little baby quarantine until the army gets here. <laughs> finally, that shotgun, machete, or crowbar you keep under the bed is about to be put to use. On February 11, 2013, our worst horror film fueled fears looked as if they'd become a reality when audio warnings about the dead returning from the grave were broadcast over the emergency alert systems of different channels in a few select regions in the United States. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking the living. Follow the messages on screen. The emergency alert system exists to inform people of local or national emergencies. And this does seem to qualify, except of course that it was a hoax. The unnamed hacker was apprehended after his fourth such stunt. Number two, the Max Headroom incident. Footage of a man having his bare butt spanked with a fly swatter isn't exactly what Chicago audiences expected when they tuned in to watch Doctor Who on November 22, 1987. But thanks to the efforts of an unknown and extremely odd signal hijacker, that is what they got. Dressed as Max Headroom, the fictional artificial intelligence that became a pop culture icon in the 80s, an unknown man swaggered, hummed, and blustered at the camera before treating viewers to his pasty pale buttocks. What a sight to behold. Number one, Verlon on Southern Television. Reading Starfighter. You have been recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Zur and the Kodan Armada. When aliens finally make contact, will they send an ambassador? Descend from the skies in a rain of fire and death? Or just sort of phone it in? On November 26, 1977, the evening news on the UK's southern television station was disrupted by a strange audio message. A representative of the Ashtar Galactic Command warned humans to disarm and live in peace, or leave the galaxy. Some people thought it was really from outer space, although in hindsight it did seem pretty odd that they would contact just one TV channel. But hey, the hijackers remain unknown today. So who knows? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.